Hello everyone, it's Savannah Kepley here. I am a middle school language arts teacher and I'm here to show you how to help your students create a Google site like this one. So this is one that I have created for a text structure project. So it's about red pandas and so we started off with a description text and then chronological piece and then um, compare and contrast between red pandas and giant pandas and then um, a cause effect piece actually yeah I think that's cause effect and problem solution so I want to show you how to do this with your students it's really easy to do so it's, it's going to be a quick tutorial so first what you have to do is you have to go to your Google Apps or your Waffle as I call it and then you'll just click on Google Sites right here. If you do not see Google Sites, you, sites, you can get more from Google Workspace and search for it and then you can find the icon there. But mine's already up here so I'm going to go ahead and click on Google Sites. So it will bring up your Google Sites. Anything that you have created will be here so you can see my red panda website is right there. So what students will do is they will just click on create a new site and this pops up and then they will title it whatever they want to title it or whatever they're doing their project on. So mine was um, red pandas and then on this side they can pick their theme simple or anything they want over here. Um, I think I picked simple theme but I like this impression one. And then they'll title it again, whatever they are working on. Mine's again, Red Pandas. And they can change the image here. And what I did, I went to search and I just typed in Red Pandas. And it's thinking really hard and then look at all these great images from google that are free to use so i just select one and put it in there and there we go red pandas i already have my header there and now i just need to build out the website okay so from here what we're going to do is we are going to start putting our content in these are just drag and drop boxes so what you do is you just drag it, pick which one you want, and drag it over here. So my first content was about the description of the red panda. So I want to upload another picture. I'm going to select an image again. I'm going to go to Google Images and I'm going to look for red pandas because there was a lot. Super cute. Oh, look at that one. That one's really cute. So I'm just going to insert that in there. And then I'm going to title this Meet the Red Panda. And then you just put in your text. So what I had my students do. And so then from there, you're just going to put in your text. So what I had my students do, they wrote all of their um, articles on one document. So we just copy and then we're just going to paste the content in there and then they can change the size the text size right here or change the font or however they want to change it now looking at this they might decide hey we want some more pictures just to kind of fill this in so what you would do is you click the images button upload no i don't want to upload cancel image button select Again, I'm going to Google Images, Red Panda, and I want another cute little picture. Look at these red pandas. They're just so cute. I want another cute picture in here. So there it is. I don't want it right there. And so what's great about this Google website is you can just drag and drop things. So again, I might want another picture. So I'll go select Google Images, Red Panda. I found another cute little red panda picture. Let's see. This one looks good. Oh, wait. Oh, I like that one. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. So I like this one. I'm going to insert it. And I don't want it down here. I'm just going to move it up there. All right. This looks good. I like it. Meet the red panda. So now we need to move on to our 
next text structure. So what I like to do is I like to put a spacer. So I just click the spacer button. So it puts space between each article. And now I want an image carousel. So I want, before we start our next article, I want them to um, look at some pictures of some red pandas. So I'm gonna put in an image carousel. And again, we're just gonna select images that we like of red pandas. I type in red panda, waiting on the images to come up. And now I'm just gonna select all the ones that I like. And this is going to create a carousel that when I publish my website, people or students can click through in order to see all of them, all these red panda pictures. And then I'm going to insert. Those look great. I'm going to insert it here. So this is a great divider piece in between the articles. So if we go back to my Google site, if we go back, if we go back to my Google site, you will see how I put, how the carousel looks when it's done. It's right there in the middle. So going back, there we have our carousel image. I'm going to put another spacer. And now I'm going to put my next text article. So I can use a content block or I can just build my own. So I'm going to build my own here because... Um, I want it to be a little bit opposite of this. So I want the text on this side and the pictures on that side. So first I'm going to put my text box in. So I just click it and it automatically pops in there. We're going to do the next text that I have here, which is a chronological text about the history of red pandas. So I just copied it and then paste. I'm going to title it simply history of the red panda. Um, I think I want this as a title. And then I'm going to change the color of it. So I just go over here to text color. I'm going to change it to red, of course, because it's a red panda, right? And then I think there should be another picture there. So I'm going to click the image button, select, go over here to Google Images, type in red panda again. <laughs> I'm going to just pick a random one. Oh, looks so cute. I'm going to insert that. Now, I don't like it down here. So, again, you can drag and drop it and do that kind of thing. So, I want it on the side. And then you can just play around with the size and how you want it to look. Just like that. Perfect. All right, and then we just keep going and doing this until we have all of the articles. And there's so many options over here to make it personalized to you and how you want your site to look. So for example, if you had a video about red pandas, you can link a YouTube, um, you can link a YouTube video to your Google site. You can even link your slides to it. I mean, it's just endless and it's really easy to use. So, oh, I love the charts button too, or the forums. If people have questions, they can email you. So from here, if you're like, okay, we're done. This is a great red panda site. I love it. You can click the preview button. It will bring it to what it will look like. Personally, I'm like, I like it. Looks cute. It's good to go. So I go back, sit out of this, and let's say I'm ready to publish. So I just click the publish button, and this is going to be my web address for it. And I just click publish. And that is it, friends. You have just created your own website, your own Google website. And it was super easy, but it looks fancy. And Students love doing this because their work is out for everybody to see. So anybody can log in to and click and search for this website. If you have any questions, just let me know. This project 
does go with my text structure project, the final activity for students for their text structure unit. So students write five different articles centered on one topic and each article follows a different text structure. And then they put it all together on this Google site. If you have any questions, I will link that below. If you have any questions, just comment. And that is all. And I hope you have fun creating your own Google website.